There are a lot of things that I don't spend money on now that I'm trying to aggressively pay off my debt. So in this episode, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I used to spend money on, and I know a lot of people do spend money on these things, that I'm now no longer spending money on. Hey, I'm Ryan from On Property, helping you achieve financial freedom, and Living Frugal can obviously help you save more money, pay off debt, and then go ahead and invest, which is my current plan. So there's a bunch of things in my life that I cut out in order to live more frugally, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's episode. I'm thinking we'll probably cover around 10 to 20 items in this episode. The title will reveal how much it is. So let's get into it. The first thing that I don't spend money on anymore is new phone upgrades. So I used to always be buying the new iPhone. I know a lot of people out there like the new iPhone, the new Samsung, whatever it is, Samsung Galaxy Fold, whatever phone you're going to get. I don't do that anymore. I used to have an iPhone 7 Max, the larger one. I really liked it, went swimming with it. It didn't like that so much. It ended up not being waterproof and yeah, it, it shat the bed. And so I had to get a new iPhone. For a while I moved back to my old iPhone 6. That ended up being too laggy and just horrible. And so rather than upgrade to the new iPhone 10 or the new iPhone 10s, I decided to jump on eBay and buy a used or refurbished iPhone 7. It cost me about 360, maybe $380. Now, I used to pay $130 per month for my new iPhone on a plan with lots of data and all of that sort of stuff. I now pay $30 per month on Telstra prepaid for this. This cost me around, what, $350 to $400. I effectively save $100 per month by having this phone. Now, it's not as great, my selfies aren't as good, but it does the job and it does what I need to do and I'm saving that amount of money. Now, obviously it took three to four months to effectively pay for this phone because I purchased it outright, but now I'm getting $100 per month in savings. So the second thing, and I'm going to say this as I walk out to my car, because that's the third thing, but the second thing that I don't spend a lot of money on is meat. I don't spend any money on meat because I'm a vegetarian. So this saves me a lot of money. I used to buy the expensive cuts of meat. You're talking your eye fillets, you're talking your T-bone steaks and things like that. And when you're buying for a family and you're paying for kids as well, that can get really expensive. So meat is something that I save money on. It does cost money from time to time to purchase uh, meat replacements like veggie sausages and I spend a lot of money on avocados but overall I think I spend a lot less. The third thing is my car. Now you'll see my little Honda Jazz right here. This baby is from 2006 and it cost me about $6,000. I think it was $6,300 to purchase this car. Got it mechanically checked before I purchased it. It's run really well. I get it serviced and it just hardly uses any petrol either. So by buying a brand new car, if that was on a car loan, I'd have to be paying for that. You've obviously got depreciation because this was cheaper, only $6,000, it's depreciating less. And then, um, yeah, I spend less money on insurance as well, and I spend less money on petrol. So overall, I save a lot of money by having a little car and by having an affordable car. And so the fifth thing, no, what are we up to? We've done three. So the fourth thing is gym memberships. Now I like to run, I like to surf, I like to skate, I like to do other activities. And so I do those activities instead of going to the gym. So I don't spend money on gym memberships. I don't want to, I don't particularly want to get really ripped. Like I like being toned. I'm quite toned. I'm not going to take my shirt off and show you, but I am quite toned. I like being toned, but I don't need to be extremely buff. And so I'll go for runs, I'll do push-ups, I'll do sit-ups, I'll do that sort of stuff, but I don't really need a gym membership in my life. And that's something that is just extra expensive that I don't wanna spend money on. The fifth thing is cigarettes and drugs. Now I do drink alcohol, I do like to have a wine with my dinner, I do like vodka, but I don't drink a lot. So I just drink a little bit, I'll go out for drinks with friends, I don't binge drink or anything like that. So. The amount of money that I spend on alcohol is quite conservative, but I've actually never smoked and I've never done drugs. So that saves me a lot of money because packs of cigarettes are what, 20 to $60 maybe, something around that mark. And then if you're starting to do illicit drugs, cocaine is extremely expensive. And so I guess I never did either of those things because I grew up as a Christian 
and I had those strong morals and now I just have no real desire to do it, but that saves me money. So yeah, I spent a little bit on alcohol, but I avoid spending money on cigarettes and drugs and I just don't think it's worthwhile. People can do whatever people want to do, you do you, but for me, that's something that I avoid. Uh, the sixth thing is expensive restaurants. So I do like going out, but I like going out and having amazing conversations with people. That's my favorite thing about going out. I like having experiences. I like getting to know people. And often I do that over drinks or I do that at a more affordable restaurant. So I don't like going to really expensive restaurants with the exception of the Malaya in, in, on King Street Wharf in Sydney. That food there is just absolutely amazing. But generally speaking, the more conservatively priced restaurants are happy for me. I like a restaurant with a good vibe, with good energy happening, where you can have a good conversation with someone. I don't need high-end food in order to have a good time. And obviously as a vegetarian, it can be a bit harder as well to find something nice to eat at a high-end restaurant, especially when I don't really have a gourmet palate either. So yeah, just more simple restaurants for me. I do go out from time to time, but not a great deal. The seventh thing is convenience, food and drinks. So you know when you go to a petrol station and you fill up and you just buy a couple of things, I don't do that anymore, basically at all. So all of the, you know, kind of snacky things that I might buy, whether it be chocolate, whether it be an energy drink or something like that, I'll always purchase from the supermarket and generally will always purchase when it's on sale. So I, it's very rare that I would pay more than a dollar for a chocolate bar and very rare that I would buy energy drinks when they're not half price. And so those sort of things that are snacky, that are convenience foods, I only buy if I'm doing like a long late night trip, like I used to drive from Noosa down to Brisbane for Melee and it'd be an hour 40 drive home at midnight. And so I would buy convenience food in order to keep myself awake but I'm not doing those drives anymore. And so there's just, yeah, I avoid convenience foods in my life because they just suck out portions of your income that you can get that stuff cheaper elsewhere. The eighth thing is brand name clothes and fast fashion. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing just a simple white t-shirt. My jeans, which, oh man, they're getting way too ripped. I, I, need, to, I need to patch them up, definitely. I think next pair of jeans I'm getting will not have rips in the knees. These jeans I got half price, so I paid $75 for these jeans, which now that they're getting so ripped, may become my shorts very shortly. But yeah, white t-shirts, two for $40, $20 each. I've got black ones. If you watch my videos, you'll see, hey, Ryan wears a lot of black and white t-shirts. That's because that is all I really own. So I have a very classic fashion. It's very basic. I buy these from General Pants. I feel like they fit me well. I like what I wear but I don't buy brand name stuff and I don't buy fast fashion. So I'm not buying new t-shirts every time there's a new season coming out. I'm not buying Subi, I'm not buying Nike, I'm not buying whatever the brands are these days. I'm just buying basic things. I'm not worrying about fast fashion trends. I'm trying to stay trendy. I'm trying to stay, um, you know, tidy and cool and stuff like that, but doing it without brand names. And so I think that saves me a lot of money. I know in my youth I spent a lot more on fashion. The next one is kids toys. Now my kids have a lot of toys and it's not that I never buy kids toys, especially when it comes to birthdays, I will buy my kids toys. But just as a general habit, we don't go toy shopping a lot. It's not something that we do. It's not something that we seek in our lives. So often people give my kids Lego or Duplo and that just kind of gets recycled and gets reused and the kids love it. And then what happens is someone might buy them a gift, like a new Lego set got purchased for them the other day. That Lego set got played with by all three children and got mixed in with the old stuff. And so everything got reused and recycled. So I don't spend a lot of money on toys for my children. I try and teach them to live a minimalistic life, to just have an imagination and enjoy the things that they do have and to not constantly be needing new things and new stimulation, but just to be really happy and grateful for the things that they have and to make the most of it. And so far, 
that's been working pretty well. The 10th thing is new tech or new gadgets. So I used to buy new tech all the time. I absolutely loved new cameras, new microphones, drones, things like that. I would love to have a drone. Of course I would. That would be amazing. That would be so much fun. That'd be a great thing to do with the kids as well. It would be great for my business, um, but I just can't justify that cost at this point in time. I would love I, w I love technology, I absolutely do. I would love a new computer. The one that I run off is from 2013. It started getting a bit slow, but instead of upgrading to a new one, I upgraded the RAM for about $100 and it's running fine now. So I'll get another year or two out of that before I need to move up to something else. So I'm not running off the latest tech anymore. I used to buy new iMacs when they came out and now it's just, yeah, I'll buy stuff secondhand when I do need it. And it's only when I really need it that I'm purchasing it. The 11th item is collector's items. Now I, I play this game called Super Smash Brothers Melee and I used to collect controllers and I used to collect TVs because we play on the old CRTs, you know, the TVs with the big backs. I used to purchase those and collect those. I had a full wall of them, which you'll see in some of my older videos from about three years ago. But yeah, I, I think I own maybe 15 to 20 controllers. One of them's a gold controller, not real gold, but it's worth about $300 or something like that. Other controllers are worth upwards of $100 each. So I used to collect these items because it was something that I was passionate about. I've stopped collecting and in fact, am slowly selling things in my life. And so yeah, collecting things is not something that I do anymore and collector's items aren't something that I spend money on. The 12th one is gambling. I don't gamble at all. I don't go to the pokies. I don't do lotto. I used to work in a lotto counter and I didn't like how people would come in and their life, they were betting on lotto. They're gonna say, I'm gonna live my life. Once I win lotto, then I guess do what I wanna do. And so I always thought, I'm gonna take my life into my own hands. I'm never going to expect to win lotto. So I don't gamble. Yeah, I don't play the pokies when I go out to the pub or anything like that. I don't even bet on the horses. I don't even bet on Melbourne Cup Day or anything like that. So gambling is something that I just don't spend money on and I don't really miss it in my life either. I think if you could bet on Super Smash Brothers Melee, maybe I would because that's something I'm heavily invested in as a hobby and as something that I'm super passionate about, but you can't, so I don't. <laughs> uh, the 13th one is in-app purchases. So I used to play a lot of games on my phone. I still do play a game called Clash Royale and they often had upgrades and you could purchase to, you know, get chests and you know what it's like. And I used to purchase a lot of apps and purchase a lot of games and things like that. And I just don't do that anymore. I just made the decision that I'm not going to do in-app purchases anymore. I'm not going to spend my money on that. So I still have free to play. So you can still play a whole bunch of stuff on your phone for absolutely free. And I just made the decision that I won't spend money on in-app purchases. I think I was probably spending maybe, you know, 10 to $30 per month on in-app purchases and now that's gone down to absolutely zero and that I don't feel like I'm missing anything from my life by doing that. I just had to reframe the way that I saw my phone and the way that I use my phone and I'm perfectly fine with that. The 14th thing that I don't spend money on anymore is cryptocurrency. Now I lost a lot of money in cryptocurrency, which I did a video about. I'll link up to that video down below. I still heavily believe in cryptocurrency as the future of finance and as a future of money. And I do actually have a little side business that I started where I created a bunch of YouTube videos talking about these things called crypto faucets, which are websites that give away like teeny tiny bits of cryptocurrency um, in exchange for you viewing the ads on their website. And so I made a bunch of videos about these and the good ones and the bad ones and I get referrals for that. So I earn like very small amounts of cryptocurrency through these crypto faucets. And so that's gonna slowly build up over time, but I'm not investing in cryptocurrency anymore or buying any cryptocurrency. I'm just using my money to pay off debt. And the 15 thing, I think we'll call it at 15. And this is something that's very temporary, but I'm currently not paying rent. And so I'm currently at my dad's place filming at the moment. Mum's about to go to Europe, so I'll have her place for a month 
for free, basically it'd be house sitting there. And so I'm very grateful to my parents that I'm able to do that, able to have a space that they have offered to me. But yeah, while I pay off my debt, while I'm aggressively doing that, I'm saving money on rent. That won't be long term. I do want to get my own place, especially for my kids to have their own room and to have their own space. And I'm definitely working towards having that in the future. But at the moment, I don't pay money on rent. So there you have, we got to a 15 things I don't spend money on. Is there something that I missed that you don't spend money on in your life? If you have any ideas that people could benefit from, benefit from, please leave it in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this interesting and maybe next week, I'll do a video on the 15 things that I do spend money on. And so I'll talk about some of the things in my life, like coffee, that I do actually spend money on where most people think, I probably shouldn't spend money on that, but I do. And so we're not perfect, and there's things that we value that other people necessarily might not, and that could be an interesting video. So maybe I'll do that one next week for Quick Money Monday. Otherwise, I wish you the best in your financial journey. I wish you are taking your steps towards financial freedom. I wish you all the best. And until next time, stay positive.